Cleveland and all these people ain't got nowhere to go. A lot of these people have medications in their apartments that they need to go get. Come here dude. But they can't go get it. So it's the same and this is just some of the people. There's people all the way around. People's all over. They ain't got nowhere to go. They won't let them in the building. Security guards at all the entrances. You can't go in there. They hooping and hollering. They want to go in their house. Some one guy with the power wheelchair, his battery's dead, and he can't move. The Red Cross is here, but I don't know what they're going to do at this point. So, let's just see some of these people here. Homeless now because of the fire at Terrace Towers apartment. A lot of people left already. Had their loved ones pick them up. A lot of people have animals in their apartments, cats. I got my dog out. But a lot of people have animals in there because they need to get out. And they can't get in their apartment. And a lot of people are also missing. There should be no danger because the, the fire was stuck to the hallways and that, so the apartments are okay, but there's no power, so they can't go back in there. All the hallways are full of smoke, so they can't go back in there. And these people are basically stuck. Let me go around here. I'm going to keep quiet. Right. Guy with a false leg. He definitely handicapped. What's going on? I gotta go buy some if I do. There's people in their cars. People in more wheelchairs. They ain't got nowhere to go. All these people is homeless now. They got nowhere to go. Electric fire, Terrace Towers, East Cleveland. There's a guy over here. His wheelchair died. This guy just got out the hospital. What's up, mommy? You just getting out the hospital, huh? Yeah. You want to be on the news? Do I want to be on the news? <coughs> if they don't help me. I don't know. It might get you a million dollars. He just got out the hospital. See the band on his arm? He still got the yellow socks on from being in the hospital. He just got out the hospital in an electric wheelchair. They dropped him off at home. He can't even get his apartment. What's your name? Willie C. Wright. Willie C. Wright. Handicapped. Out and out in the streets right now. Because of the fire, Terrace Towers.
this guy in that electric wheelchair, his wheelchair is dead. He can't move. He's been sitting there for almost two hours. We got a lady down here with kids. People's everywhere. Nowhere to go. Look like they're gonna give him some water. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep you informed. But all these folks is homeless right now. Because they're 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 guarding the the doors so you can't go in the building. Thanks for watching Torpedo Heat TV. Go over here and see the Red Cross. Right here, dude. Come on. I got him. I'm gonna roll off, man. How you doing? What's that? Be able to go in and get him. No, I brought him out with me. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Where are you from? Cleveland Heights. Okay. Seven minutes away. Yeah. Yeah, this is a bad thing these people yeah. are going through. Yeah, the Fourth of July you know, screws everybody's holiday up. Fortunately, we're hoping there's not much damage to each unit. Yeah, there's no damages to the units, That's but. Funny. Yeah. They still, the smoke is in the hallways. Yeah, okay. I see they got the Red Cross here. Yep, I'm with the Red Cross. So what are they going to do? We're making a decision right now. They're going to put them in hotels or? No, no we don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. We uh, probably open up the shoulder. So do you have a place to go or stay? Don't know yet. Look, start looking. <laughs> I mean, you, you can stay one of our shoulders, but find your friends or family to stay with. And it won't affect any compensation you get from the Red Cross, so. The Red Cross is going to compensate people? They might. We're still making the decision right now. What about all the food people are losing? Well, they, that's, you know, for 72 hours, they'll, they'll be, still be good. But, Mike, we don't know how long it's going to be before people get a bill to get back in. Uh -huh. Store power, so it's all... What about people that need to go in there and get their medication? That's the, that's the fire department's decision. Yeah, that's important. Good, good point. Because they're gone. Fire department's gone. I think somebody's still here. Are, Are they? they? I, I'm hoping they're still here. Well, all the trucks and ambulances yeah, trucks are gone. Are, yeah, yeah. Well, you guys are doing the best you can. Well, thank you for that. Because, I mean, it's not like it's your fault, you know. Are you good at the St. Rafael's, is that in Bay Village? What's that? I have no idea. Okay. Stay with me. Yeah, it's I have no start. idea. It's just start. And you're here from Cleveland Heights. Which actually isn't even in this city, so you're stepping beyond. Well, we do. We do the whole. We, actually, we do Cuyahoga, Lake Chiaga, Ashtabula. Oh wow! So we do a big all the counties. Yeah, we do uh -huh. all northeast Ohio. Yeah. Well, you guys are doing a good job. Well, we're not doing much the yet. The best you can. Trying, yeah. Oh, that's you good. You know, I appreciate your the energy. best you can. That guy over there, his wheelchair is dead. I figured he could been rolling around for a lot. Yeah. So, you know, this this is a big problem for a lot of people. Yep, yep. A lot of people have medication. Sure. A lot of people have animals in there. Yeah, I know a lot of people concerned about it. You're lucky. I have uh, a lot of chips and candy and cookies and stuff in my house, and I would bring them out and give them to the people. I think we're going to try to get some food here right now. We're working on that. Uh-huh. You know. But they said I couldn't go in and, I know. Yeah. you know. We can't go in. Yeah. And then there's there's people that are still in there. Are there? Oh yeah. No, Not blame. everybody's accounted for. Okay. I, I don't blame. I don't think I you know. Just between you and I. Right. I know. 
Yeah, well, the elevators went down. A lot of those people can't make it out, you know, so. All right, come on, dude. How many people are still in there, rough guess? I'd say 10 to 15. Oh, it's not that many, okay. Yeah. That's just a guess, though. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I know the lady across the hall from my buddy didn't. I haven't seen her. Okay. And she's yeah. handicapped. She had a stroke. Yeah. And her arm is messed up yeah. and her leg. She walks. And and I know she was home. Okay. Because I had taken her some food. Well, good for you. And there was a lady who was visiting her who I saw her out here. But I didn't see the lady, you know. Okay. So, you know, there's definitely people still in there. But they're not in any danger. No, I don't think so. You know, there's no danger to it. But, again, they do want to be safe. Sure. Better safe than sorry. So. Well, carry on, sir. All right, thank you. All right. All right, have a good day. I'm a you're the one that needs a good day. Yeah. What else can I say? All these homeless people. Nowhere to go. Thanks for watching Torpedo Heat TV.